Robson Conceição gets old overnight. Not just overnight. I mean, you could pinpoint the exact minute and second in the second round where he got old. So give the video a like. Comments of did you watch this uh, POS fight? Let me take a sip of my coffee. I checked it out this morning. Anyway, you know, I, I'd like to be able to do a film study and show you exactly what I'm talking about, you know. But even though both, are, I, and, you know, I'd be comparing it to the Valdez, Conceição's performance versus Shakur uh, compared to his performance against Valdez. And even though both of those fights in their entirety, HD and everything, are here in YouTube, shout out to Top Rank. Uh, if I use, you know, 10 seconds of this or that of fight, you rest assured Top Rank will come a knocking, right? Because those fights being up in their entirety, that's obviously fair use because they're used for indoctrination purposes only. And me doing what I do here is obviously taking food off Top Rank's table. So they can't have that, can they? Anyway, um, so yeah, Conceição came out. Uh, and you could already see the signs of aging in the first round, but he came out dominating the, the first round. He absolutely dominated the first round. Shakur couldn't do anything, right? He threw straight punches. That's how he dominated the round. It was easy work. Um, but even even in that first round, he just he didn't have his punching power, right? Again, I, I would show you how he was committing to his punches, how he was punching Valdez in their fight and the power was was already gone in this fight right so as we all know the power is the last thing to go so if the power is gone everything's gone right but he really he really got old in in I don't know maybe halfway through again I can't I can't show you exactly maybe halfway through the second round uh, because he just more and more he threw crooked punches or less straight punches, whereas he came out throwing. And even these straight punches he, he was throwing were, you know, were weak. So obviously his power was already gone. And with that, everything else obviously is already gone. We all know, we all know boxing, right? We all know how this works. So, but at least he was throwing them straight down the, down the middle. He was controlling the range. He was moving his feet. But then all of that deteriorated very slowly and, the first signs of that were in the second round. I mean, he just got old, guys. He just got old. I mean, a guy that... And the commentators pointed all this out, right? A guy that throws straight punches down the middle and lots of them, all of a sudden wasn't wasn't throwing uh, straight punches almost at all. And his volume was just pathetic, Right? compared to some of his other performances. But you got to give Shakur credit. I mean, he punched his dick all night, so that probably uh, contributed, you know what I mean? But um, it was it was an uncanny kind of a performance from Conceição, who, let's be frank, is a bit of a slapper with his, with his hooks. He's got that limp wrist syndrome a little bit, and some of his, you know, when he doesn't turn over his hooks very well, sometimes he does. Right, but he has a tendency to slap a little bit with his hooks. But I mean, he got so old in this fight, even his straight punches were slaps. It's, it's something I've never seen before. You know, when a guy throws a straight right hand, but his fist is pointed at the ceiling, that I've never seen. And you know, the straight right hand was nowhere to be found after a few right here and there. Maybe uh, he was he was trying to uh, get young again, I guess. I, I, you guys, you guys are the experts. You let me know how that happens. But anyway, he was basically, um, uh, Robson Conceição was a low volume, um, flailing bum, and Shakur Stevenson punched his dick all night. So, you know, let's see what the people thought, how much they liked that fight. Shakur's so comfortable. Is so comfortable. Shakur doesn't waste anything. His accuracy. Why couldn't he knock him out? If his accuracy is impeccable. Why couldn't he knock this guy out? 
He couldn't put a dent in them, even with all those dick punches. Huh. Stevenson is literally too good. Shakur was so accurate. Strong, snappy punches. If he's so accurate with the strong, snappy punches, right? And he's aiming at the dick all night. Why can't he stop the guy? Why is he getting so frustrated when the guy won't go down? Why do they have to give him fake knockdowns? Why is he throwing him to the canvas? Why is he throwing a little hissy fit? Because the guy isn't giving him a knockout? He's just good. Skills, man. High IQ boxing. How so? What do you mean? Wow. Shakur is incredible. He's too good. Shakur Hanyu would be a pure boxer's delight. <laughs> Looking forward to that super fight in the future. Uh... This is interesting. an interesting comment. The guy says that Shakur is going to be hated because once he moves up to 140 and above, so his natural weight, um, he's going to be moving, moving a lot, right? Running. It's interesting. It makes me think of the Nakatila fight, right? Who's Nakatila? I don't know, man. Some African bum, right? He was running a lot in that fight, right? And then he steps it up a level or two. And he's just walking these guys down, right? These quote-unquote world champions just walking them down. Straight up and down, no special effects. Walking in straight lines, no head movement, right? Very easy to hit. Now look, if, if these guys ask some questions of him, maybe he has answers, but he doesn't have to worry about that, right? So he just plods straight forward. No lateral movement, no head movement. Right when he throws his punches, he's wide open for counters, chin up in the air. Right? They just, you know, they just all get old overnight, I guess. Anyway, uh, shout out to Jay Prince. Can can someone explain to me why uh, a boxer has a gangster managing him? Can can somebody explain to me what sort of what sort of managerial experience a gangster has? Can somebody do that? Thanks for watching, man. Uh, you should skip this one. You should skip all of Shakur's fight, fights, man. If if you want to see good competitive fights, Shakur is not the one to watch. I'm just saying. Neither is Canelo. Thanks for watching.